What's going on guys? It's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And this time it's gonna be a mob battle, but you're probably wondering, Pat, what the hell have you done to the arena? And you can see I built this contraption to try to keep all the mobs together. Because today, guys, is a special day. It's gonna be a three-way fight. I know we've done a couple, and you really seem to enjoy them, so I figured we'd try it once again. And this time, the Starconium Golem from the Crazy Ores mod is joining us. And yeah, that is not a baby golem right there. 240 health. Purple, too. It might it might be a female golem. Pretty cool looking. But its opponents are very powerful. The T-Rex and the Mantis, both from the Ore Spawn mod. So hopefully, this contraption I built will keep all the mobs pretty close to each other. So be sure to leave a comment and let me know who you think is going to win. All right, here we go. The Mantis. The Golem. And the T-Rex. Alright, so the Golem is freaking huge. It's even bigger than the T-Rex. That is amazing to even think about. Alright, he's down to 142. Looks like the Mantis has already died off. T-Rex at 12. A one hit, bro. One hit. Oh! And he did it. Looks like the Golem victorious in round one. But really, in the three-way battles, there's so much, like, luck involved. Because any mob could hit any mob. So the next round might be completely different. So, guys, we definitely have to give this a shot again. Really, anything can happen in these three-way fights. So here we go. Let the battle begin. Can the Mantis do any better? Because the Mantis died first. And, oh my god, it died in like three seconds. That just can't be good. All right, the Golem is at 66. And it looks like the T-Rex might take this one. Dude's at 77. Ooh, so yeah, different winner this time. Maybe the Mantis will win next time instead of dying in like half a second. Guess we'll find out in a minute. All right, guys, so we're heading on to the next round, and I feel like the only way to make this fair is to do two Mantises against them, because, come on, it lost in, like, three seconds. That was terrible. All right, here we go. Let it begin. Can the Mantises come out with a victory this time? You never know. They might be able to do it as a team here. So one is down to 68, the other at 55. I feel like they die so quick. They must have low defense. All right, so that one is at 15, and... All right, one's down. Last one can't believe they both died first. The Starcodium Golem kind of just like, you know, sat back and watched them kill each other. All right, guys. So what we're going to do is go to a bigger battle now. And yeah, you can tell there's a lot of luck involved in the three-way fights because Starcodium Golem's kind of slow. Like, look how slow he walks. He was like trying to get closer to the battle and the Mantises both died. All right, guys. We're on to the next round and it looks like we are going to have to take things to the next level. It's going to be two Golems, two T-Rexes, and four Mantises. All right, and let the battle begin. I love stepping on the pressure plate just to see all the mobs fly out. All right, so let's see what happens here. I know the Mantises could win something. Probably going to have to add in like 50 on the next round. All right, so the Golems. This one is at 186, and the dude over here is down to 152. Oh, man. Actually, the Mantises are up against the Golems right now and not doing that good. All right, looks like the Starconium Golems are winning like every round. This one at 122, and this one at 120. So I think for the next round, what I'm going to do is spawn in, I guess, a ton of Mantises. Like, just look at this. They die so easily. So I'm going to spawn in a ton of those, and I guess maybe a couple more T-Rexes than Golems, too, because the Golems seem to be owning everything. All right, guys, so we're on to the next round, and this time it's going to be four Golems, five T-Rexes, and 12 Mantises. And let the battle begin. Got to hit it twice here. And look at that. I gotta say, though, the Mantis noise is extremely annoying. They buzz so loud, it's like torture to my ears. Maybe that's why they're killing them so brutally. Maybe they're annoyed by the noise as well. All right, so looks like only two golems left alive, and the Mantises might actually have a chance. It's the last golem. Oh, the last golem's down. Three Mantises, and it looks like the T-Rexes are going to win, actually. All right, this one's down to four. Wow, pretty close, though. This one at 21, 34, and 20. Just, like, a couple more hits. And I think these dudes would have been dead. Like, a hit from the Starconium Golem does, like, 20-something damage. Probably could have killed these guys really quickly. All right, guys. So, we're heading on to the final round here. It's going to be nine Golems, 30 Mantises, and 10 T-Rexes. It's going to be freaking crazy. So, all I have to do is step on this three times, and the battle will begin. All right, here we get one, two... And three. And here we go. This is freaking insane. Look at it. It's amazing. There's mantises flying everywhere. Only nine golems, but the golems are just so powerful in comparison. They might actually have a chance. There's like ten mantises on this side. 
And really, guys, one of the problems with the three-way battles is it's really hard to find three mobs that are close in strength. And this was my best attempt. Seemed to be pretty close. It's going to be Golem against Mantis. I think the Mantis are actually going to lose here. Oh, it's the final dude. Oh my god, they're going to win it. It took 30. But the Mantises have won the final round. And today it looks like the Starconium Golem is slightly stronger than the T-Rex. And both of them are quite a bit more powerful than the Mantis. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you want to see more three-way battles, be sure to slam that like button, guys. And I'll try to set more up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time for another Minecraft video.